Hi, we're almost time for today, so let's get going. So just make sure you actually listen to these terrifying rainy night horror stories submitted by this submitted by by the subscriber, you know, her subscribers. And this one is by my favorite of mine, and that is Brittany Krabs. Now, the only thing is, I always love to listen to these stories, you know, because it actually helps me a lot, you know, it helps me, you know, help me calm my mind and stuff. But, if y'all want me to react to more of the stories, let me know. I would love to, like, see, you know, I would love to listen to it every single time, because, you know, you know, I was thinking about, you know, getting my own books, of course, and I ever wish I have it, because... It does, it does help me a lot sometimes and um stuff like that. But um but yeah, um so let's let's check it out in five, four, three, two. Are you ready to hear one of the scariest true paranormal experiences submitted from my subscriber? If you want me to read your paranormal stories on my channel, make sure you send them to the email. 44 ghost stories at hotmail.com before we get into this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like this story was sent in by kevin this happened in 2007 when i was seven years old and i was living with my mom at the time in an old creepy house in dickinson texas it was halloween time and i was watching halloween movies on disney channel i had a small gray tv in my room back then and I was watching a Disney Halloween movie while going to sleep late at night. And my mom was already asleep down the hall in her bedroom. Other than me and my mom, no one else was home. I was half asleep when I heard a huge, extremely loud explosion that was so loud, I jumped from my bed and froze in fear. The sound came from my TV and I saw a bright flash of blue and white light for a split second. And then suddenly, my TV was off. I checked around my TV, and there was no physical damage to the outside of the TV or anything around it of any kind, which made no sense. I tried to turn it back on with my remote, but it wouldn't turn on. So I brushed it off and went back to bed and tried to get back to sleep. Then, I suddenly started feeling a heavy sense of being watched and this heavy static feeling I can't explain. It was like a strange energy coming over the room and I knew someone or something was there watching me, but I couldn't see anything. I had a vision of a spiral bullseye-like image with a floating large black panther with bulging yellow eyes hissing at me. And I suddenly opened my eyes and jumped up in bed and looked around the room. In the corner of this room, I had a tall metal lamp with six or seven multicolor lights that were each on different metal springy arms. This lamp randomly exploded. First, each light exploded across each arm, and then it lit up like firecrackers. And then there was one large explosion that rang out with a bang in a big fireball. And then my lamp threw itself across my room and the plug in the wall ripped out and flew into it. It was now pitch black, even though I was sitting in front of a window that should have had moonlight coming through it. At this point, I was completely frozen in fear and I could no longer move or look away. I was in complete shock at what I was seeing because this had never happened before and I was completely and totally paralyzed with fear. I was wide awake, so this was clearly not a dream. I can clearly tell the difference between a dream and real life. I kept staring at the corner of the room where the lamp had been, and I saw what looked like multiple bright colored worms or caterpillars appearing out of thin air in the corner that hovered in midair and were made of a bright white light with no true physical form moving slowly towards each other and blending into long colored lines and shapes. After what felt like five minutes, these bright caterpillar things created this large black cat 
that looked like a large black panther. It had a white outline around it, and it had pink inner ears and a pink nose, and its eyes were bright yellow with black pupils, and it had large white fangs. Its legs were huge and thick and muscular, like a man's arms, and its paws were the size of my head. Its eyes were the size of basketballs. Its pupils were the size of my fist, and its head was gigantic. It sat there staring at me for a moment, and then it started moving. It took a few steps towards me, and then started moving right and left, back and forth, pacing between the sides of my room, while staring directly at me and never looking away. As it was doing this, I kept getting more and more terrified, thinking this thing was gonna kill me, and it kept reaching one leg out and clawing at me, and although it was at least 20 feet away, I still somehow physically felt the sensation of three large claws tearing through my abdomen and chest, and it hurt so bad, I kept screaming and crying. After what felt like at least five minutes, I suddenly realized I was no longer on my bed, and I was not standing up, and I couldn't see anything but this panther creature, and I couldn't feel anything but my own wounds. I looked down, and I couldn't see my bed, and my back was bent up a little. I felt the sensation of a large metal chain stabbing through my chest and out my back. Suddenly, after a few seconds, I felt this chain rip out of me, and I fell to the ground. And as soon as I hit my bed, I immediately snapped out of my paralysis state and regained my movement, and I jumped up and banged on the wall behind my bed, since my mom's bedroom was directly behind that wall, and I could still hear her snoring, so I knew she was asleep. I screamed for her and banged on the wall a few times and got no response. Then I bolted for the door. This room had a closet door right next to the bedroom door. And in my confusion, I opened the closet door on accident and this panther creature appeared in there. I slammed the door and opened my bedroom door and bolted down the hall, closing the door behind me. And I ran straight to my mom's room. I got to my mom's door and tried to open it. And it felt like it was locked or someone was pressing it from the other side. But I heard my mom snoring, so she was clearly sleeping and my mom's bedroom door did not have a lock. So I knew that was impossible. I couldn't turn the knob or open the door. It was exactly like the possession scenes from The Conjuring when they couldn't get the door open in the movie when trying to help the girl. I suddenly saw this panther creature face appear on my mom's door, swirling in circles. And it hissed at me again. And then I turned around and saw my bedroom door on the other side of the hall slowly open itself and this panther creature started peeking its head out at me and then it slowly walked into the hall and slowly started walking towards me. I turned back around and started banging on my mom's door as hard as I could and screaming for my mom to open the door at the top of my lungs and she still somehow heard nothing and kept sleeping. I looked back again and the panther creature was now five feet closer. I turned back and banged and screamed some more still nothing. I looked back again and it was closer. I looked back at the door and screamed for my mom and then I heard a click and the door randomly opened. My mom came out and gently said, what's wrong? What's going on? I looked back one more time quickly and the panther creature was now gone. It had instantly disappeared into thin air. I didn't tell my mom what happened. I was so scared. I just said nothing and I pushed past her and jumped into her bed. Passed out, fell asleep for the rest of the night. The next day after this happened, me and my mom went back into the room to check on it during the day when the sun was up so we could now clearly see the whole room. When we went back in there, the entire room was wrecked as if someone had broken in and destroyed it. There were no visible signs of a break-in and neither me or my mom had moved anything in that room. My ceiling fan somehow was ripped completely out of the ceiling and smashed into a hundred pieces over my bed. Everything that had been sitting on my windowsill, my dresser, my nightstand had been thrown to the floor 
and smashed to pieces or torn and my dresser along with all of my other furniture was flipped over and all the drawers were ripped out of my dresser. All of my clothes were in a giant pile on the floor in front of my dresser and everything in my closet, clothes included, were thrown to the floor. There was damage to everything. I had a statue of an angel that had a music box in it that played Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. When I wound the key, the crucifix was smashed on the floor. We were both in shock at what we saw and my mom knew I couldn't have possibly done this. After this night, I was so scared, I straight up refused to ever sleep in my room again and I slept with my mom for multiple nights from fear. My mom kept reassuring me that it's okay to tell her, but I kept lying and saying nothing happened because I was scared to talk about it because I thought that thing might come back. She didn't understand what happened, so she had me sleep in her room while she slept in my room for one night to see if she saw anything. The next day, she told me while she was in my room the night before, she was laying on my bed and she felt the same static feeling and she saw my door open and then she saw what she described as a sunflower man float into the room and start yelling at her. She said it was like a green vine waving up and down while moving forward and it had a yellow flower bud on the end and then when it got to her, the flower bud opened and it was a sunflower with a man's face in the middle. It screamed and yelled at her in a language she could not understand. At that moment, she finally realized what I was going through. Later on, I slept in her room again and a few days later, she told me that while I was asleep in her room, she saw at least 30 large demonic black shadowy figures enter her bedroom and they were all looking at her and moving around the bed and she knew these were demons. These were evil and they were for me. She did not know how to exercise or fight spiritually at the time. So she opened herself to God and surrendered in prayer. She felt something inside her that was from God. And she said she saw this lion head come out of her belly and roar at them. And they all went back like it scared them. She got up, chased them all out with this lion spirit and they all ran and disappeared and then the lion disappeared after that i never saw any spirits in that house ever again and i never felt that static feeling ever again i firmly believe that the panther creature that i saw was a demon my mom told me recently that the man who lived at that house before us was friends with a man named andre who she was dating at the time and i met andre but I never met the former owner. She told me that the man who lived at that house before was a military veteran and was crazy and kind of a weird guy. She said he had left these weird looking statues or artifacts in her closet in her room, which was right behind my bedroom. She also said that at the time in 2007, the man who lived in that house before us was in the hospital. He was sick or hurt and Andre had visited him in the hospital. When Andre came back, he looked scared and he said this man started acting crazy. He had leaned his head to one side and had something bulge out of his neck unnaturally. She said Andre swore the man who lived in that house before was possessed by something. I believe that man had a demonic possession of influence and that he had attracted or summoned or conjured multiple demons to that house before and those demons had stayed there when he left. To this day, that is the scariest paranormal experience I have ever had in my life. If you want me to read your paranormal experiences on my channel, make sure you email me at birdie44ghoststories at hotmail.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics, Michael Jackson, hashtag team, birdie44, hashtag Baruta friends, hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Wow, that, <laughs> that, that was a
a crazy story right there, man. Like, man, I remember, um, when I was a kid, I did have the same thing, cause, like, when I was sleeping, when the lights were off, like, I, you know, I shut up my TV so it can get, like, more, like, so I can, like, rest, man. But, um, but, in case you never know, um, I do, I did too saw the selling, fi uh, selling figures, and, like, you know, in the middle of the night, I was like, I didn't say nothing, I didn't scream, nothing, like, it was so, it was so terrifying of how this happened, I like, yeah, this is why I want to sleep. You know, this is why I want to sleep with the teeth while the TV is on because it actually helps me. Cause I ain't want to sleep while while it's dark. Cause it, it, yeah, like I I can't do any more of this. But currently, I'm I'm just doing it right now, <laughs> of course, man. But that that that's a crazy one. Like the phanter the phanter creature was a demon. Like what? So you telling me this whole multiple demon that happens, and this Andre guy who actually, you know, was in the house and all that, like, like that—that that is crazy, man. Like, plus it. Did, it do making me sleepy while listening to this story while it raining. I mean, I wish she would do like a, a winter before um next month. I mean, I really wish that can really happen. I hope, cause um that'd be that'd be cool. That'd be so cool. So yeah, y'all want if y'all want me to listen to more uh Britney Crabs, let me know, cause I I love her so much, man, and um. You know, she actually helps me out, man. I mean, I, I wish that can happen. Plus, um, maybe soon, I will love to collaborate with her soon, if I could try, because, um, because I'm actually going to take my chance to, to do so, and, um, hopefully that can happen, but, um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully that can happen when I would love to collaborate with somebody. I really wish, but yeah. Um, yeah, comment down below if you want more of this paranormal, um, videos, of course, because that, I know it's going to be scary, very scary, I, I think. But, um, but yeah, man, um, also go get her a subscribe. Uh, shout out to her for me. And yeah, um, I'll see y'all in the next rest video.